On its 551, survivors of metastatic breast cancer and their supporters want you to learn more about the disease today. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli is live in Greenville. Good morning, Christine. Good morning. Hey guys, absolutely. Yeah, here at the Cancer Survivors Park right here downtown Greenville. You may have driven by, seen just a little bit of the upper part of the park. Now there are some very special lights today. We want you to help raise awareness today Fight metastatic breast cancer. I would say I, I want to say awareness day because that's really the point of it is to spread awareness. Seeing those lights, we can see them locally here. And Kay Roper, executive director of this beautiful place, telling us more about why today is so important. And it's really because you, you think maybe not enough money, not enough resources are put toward metastatic breast cancer. Absolutely, it is a um, it is a high killer. I mean, there's a lot of it's a terminal disease, but we're fighting it, and we want more awareness. Um, we want people to know that. While 115 people, men and women, die a day of metastatic breast a cancer, day. a day, a very small percentage goes to research. So this is an opportunity to bring awareness to metastatic breast cancer. And that means making something maybe chronic versus terminal. Absolutely, right? that I mean, is the goal. That is the goal. Many cancers can be chronic. Um, cancer is a tricky thing, you know, and it, it's, it's different with each person. But if we can make it a manageable disease, which in many cases they are getting there, um, with metastatic breast cancer, that would be the goal. There are a couple places that are going to light up all across the upstate, right? There are. There are. Of course, Cancer Survivors Park. We're thrilled to have these parks. Um, the Liberty Bridge, the iconic bridge downtown, and the BMW in Greer Zentrum building is going to be lit up. I understand that will be quite impressive. So I bet it will. We're, we're excited to be part of that. For sure. And would you tell me what the lights actually mean? The pink, yes. the green, the teal? The pink is because it starts in the breast. The teal is for hope and healing, and the green is for renewal and rebirth. Very good. So that lots of, of purposeful sense. meaning in those colors. So Well, and, and it really means a lot to be able to come here and feel that serenity. It and, does. and really kind of feel almost taken care of here. That, Thank that you're you. remembered. It's yes. a it's a park of hope and healing. Different Very spaces good. where people can reflect and sit and think about why they're here. I appreciate that. Even if you're not necessarily surviving with the disease. Um, here's a couple national landmarks, guys. There are so many globally today. Did you have a number real quick? Absolutely. I think they got to 168. Woo! So the goal Globally. was 115 and they've surpassed it. So Very a good. lot of people will see these colors. WSBA.com has a web article with more. Spread the awareness today. Back to you. Wow, that's great stuff there. Thank you, Christine. Right at 554, we'll be right back.